Good morning, and welcome to Grace Notes. My name is Marilyn Stairs, and I'm a member of Grace United Church. I am a lay worship leader that has been licensed by the United Church of Canada. This coming Sunday, May 31st, there are two themes in the church, Pentecost and Environmental Sunday. So I thought we would talk today about the environment. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose spirit moved over the face of the deep, bringing forth light and life. By that same spirit, renew your creation and restore your image in your people. Turn us from careless tenants to faithful stewards that your threefold blessing of clean air, pure water, and rich earth may be the inheritance of everything that has the breath of life. And one generation may proclaim to another the wonders of your works. Through Jesus Christ, your living word, in whom the fullness of your glory is revealed. Amen. Our reading today is Psalm 104, 24 to 34, taken from the New Life Version. O oh Lord, how many are your works? You made them all in wisdom. The earth is full of what you have made. There is the wide sea full of both large and small animals. There are too many to number. The ships sail there, and the very large sea animals you have made play in it. They all wait for you to give them their food at the right time. You give it to them and they gather it up. You open your hand and they are filled with good things. They are troubled and afraid when you hide your face. And when you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. They are made when you send your spirit and you made the land of the earth new again. May the shining greatness of the Lord last forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. He looks at the earth and it shakes with fear. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. May the words of my heart be pleasing for him. As for me, I will be glad in the Lord. Honor the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Today, I thought I would sit outside to talk to you surrounded by my newly planted garden. As we go through these unusual times of social distancing, we are reminded of how we are all interconnected with each other and our environment, how our actions affect others and our earth. While we take a break from traveling, decreasing car and air travel, our environment and animals are finding some relief. While out walking, it is no longer unusual to see the wildlife that were once on the verge of our living space now crossing that invisible line and approaching our habitat that was once theirs. Pollution in some areas with high smog is lifting, giving us new views of areas such as Mount Everest, which have not been seen in almost 50 years. Psalm 104 is a reflection on the creation account in Genesis 1. In fact, it follows the basic structure of the Genesis account. We hear about God's creations as they occur and all that we have to feel grateful for. God created the world with order and purpose and anyone or anything that acts against that purpose essentially tries to undo the good creation God established. Thus, the final of Psalm 104 is not really a prayer against particular people, but against the forces of evil with which people sometimes cooperate against the wishes of the Creator.
So let's take a break from the worry of our present thoughts and look around at our wonderful world. Let us be thankful for all the wonders God has supplied us with, all the beauty to behold. Let us imagine ourselves in our beautiful world, having overcome the illness that chains us to distancing ourselves from each other, but never from God. We are not alone. We have our faith in God to give us strength and courage, and we have our faith community to whom we can turn, and who many already have and have had their needs answered. Together we are strong, together we have hope, and together we are a faith community.